uh, fellow Hot Wheels collectors. I am unfortunately a little bit ill at the moment. I've got a bit of a sorish throat, but it's more me bunged up now. So if I do suddenly stop, it's because I've had sort of like a sneezing fit or something. Anyway, March has been a rather productive picking year for pluckings, as you can probably tell from the um, hauling video. So let's start with some uh, 2014 carded stuff, which was pretty good findings. Poundland was selling as usual their Matchbox Hot Wheels cars, and I picked up a few of them. 70s Chevelle Wagon SS. This was the uh, black variation. This is the one that I missed out because I think it's from the N case. And we moved straight from H case to M case. There's the N there. International card. Again, beautiful styling on this one. Just a beautiful black with yellow. Very nice. Next we have the 69 Corvette. This one I missed out on, again, from the N case. This must be one of those ones that I just basically never found or they didn't have in the store and ordered a new one, which was obviously the later case. And because there weren't certain carryovers. Next up we have the 76 Greenwood Corvette. And yes, it is the Erid version with the paint chips on it. I don't know if my camera's going to be able to pick this out, but right, right, right on the very corner edge there of the front wheel, there are two distinctive little chips that guarantee that this is one of the cases. In fact, the code underneath is F33. So I think that is the production year. Well, I think that is when the errors of those with the chips on were coming through. Anyway, went into my local um, Moon's Toy Master. Usually they don't have new stock in at all. Load of stock was in there though. So I asked uh, because there was a couple of E case cards. So I asked if uh, they had any more. She brings the whole box down and I quite happily have a rummage. First up we have the 71 Mustang funny car. But don't I already have that? Well, yes I do already have it. Quite a heavy model, but um, seems to be something uh, rather wrong with this one. I mean, uh, that was perfectly fine, but uh, that one... Hmm. Yep, a nice error of an unchromed wheel. I don't know if the other side's unchromed. I would have thought that both sides would have been unchromed, but you can't really tell. Oh, so a Ford Mustang Super. I wish. Boy, did I wish that there was a Super in there. Oh well. Still a very nice car anyway. This is one that I did want to pick up because of its uh, very pretty colours. I will admit the Super is more prettier, but oh well. Can't win them all. Bump around the third colouring, or fourth colouring of this version. Green with black base, purple antenna, purple interior and yellow front end. Fourth colouring in this one, the yellow, the uh, first colouring, the red one, real peg hanger, blue one, pretty okay. Third colouring, that seems to have disappeared. I think that was probably popular because it looked like a proper little um, 50 uh, dodging car. Maximum Lee Ray, uh, Lee Way, not Lee Way, Lee Ray. Yep, Maximum Lee Ray is, of course, the treasure hunt. Very small logo. I almost missed over this one. It was like, okay, so what's that black one? That's the, I don't know. Hold on, is that the treasure? Oh, that's the treasure hunt. Grab it. So I've got the treasure hunt out of the E case. That's quite happy. Max Steel motorcycle. Previous video, I got the blue uh, Max Steel 4x4 thingy. Well, now I have the third variation of the Max Steel motorcycle. Blue with white on it, whereas the rest have usually been blue, white, and I think clear or something else, I don't know. How many recolours will they do of that? Don't know. Rodzilla Orange. I think I picked this one up uh, somewhere, I don't remember. Uh, short card though, so it wasn't Poundland, but yeah, nice uh, model to find. Very groovy. And as well as that, oh, Tesco's in uh, 
in a new market. Or it might have been Ely, I can't remember now. But I got the 69 Ford Torino Talagega. Very nice uh, colouring this one. Beautiful colouring. It's a good thing actually my mind is still working as there were quite a few cars in that E case. I didn't know I had or hadn't had. Anyway, went back to Poundland. Surprisingly all the 2014 models have sold out. So they got some older 2013 stock. How much older? Uh, um, I don't know because these don't have production dates on. But I got the Porsche Cayenne Turbo. Not a popular model this, but uh, I like it in this nice uh, cherry red. Hello, glare. There we go. Nice uh, cherry red colouring. Very pretty colouring indeed. It's one of those sort of like, you don't really like it, but then you look at it again and think, that's pretty. We have the Aqua King. I thought this was actually called the um, food truck at first, because I thought, oh, it's the food truck. No, it's the Aqua King. This is the one that uh, if you hollow out the base and put a Christmas light in, all those uh, bottles in there will actually light up. Very nice, cool green colour. I wonder if Race Groove's uh, daughter, Amanda, has got one of these. What am I saying? Of course she's probably got one. Probably got four or five, which I will come to on in a moment. Next up we have the Express Delivery. Another one that I missed and missed out on. We don't usually get very much uh, matchbox around our way. We usually sort of like uh, when Poundland gets them in, that's how I... We get the odd one here and there, but usually most of my matchbox stuff is long carded or the 60th anniversary. 2013 Ford Explorer. This was uh, one of the police range that I missed out on. I think it might be a case of brought all the others but missed that one out. Still nice though. Audi R8. I think I missed out on this one mainly because um, I just didn't like it at the time. But now, that's very pretty. Nice blue, shiny little bit of silver there. Very cool model. Now we move on to the 2014 cards. How do I know the 2014? Well, purely because of the uh, shape. Slight gap on the side. Groove taken out of that corner. Now this first one is the Dodge Monaco police car. But I didn't just get one. Oh no, I'm being like all you USA people who grab like a four or five models of the same car. Yeah, so I cleared my pound land out. So I got one, two, three. I think that was all I got was three. Oh well, that is the fourth one. Four. I got four non-errored, I have checked them all for errors, but I got four 2014, ooh, I have to zoom out a bit here, of those. And they did have another one there, in fact they had two, not on 2013 cards. Hmm. But either way, I decided to grab all of those, because why not? I mean, all the USA people go around grabbing like four or five cars of these, and then apparently selling them or trading them yeah right yeah selling and trading to youtube friends as in people who probably only live a couple of states away not selling them to sort of like uk countries or places that will cost far too much money oh yeah yeah we'll just sort of like hoard them up and let's sort of like show them off on our channel oh yes i found three four supers which i'm now going to stick on ebay for like twice as much but anyway, going back, I also found this MBX Coupe. No idea what on earth it is, but I just liked it because look at it. It's crazy. It's it's like, what? It looks like something a five-year-old would draw. I didn't know Mattel employed five-year-olds. Land Rover Defender 110. Classic uh, British car, this. Or British off-roader. I think recently this has just been uh, discontinued. Not the model, but the actual uh, Land Rover Defender 110. I don't know, you'd have to do some research on that. Not 100% I heard that it was going to or not. Next up we have the Whiplash. 
It seems like Hot, it seems like Matchbox are taking on more a Hot Wheels approach, making sort of like cars that look like they could go on a Hot Wheels track set. It wouldn't surprise me because I mean these. Actually, that'd be a good point. This is a comment to Mr. Ray Screws. Can you kindly sort of like test this one, the uh, orange one I just showed, and then test this one out to see uh, which one is the more better on a track? Because I mean they are absolutely perfect. Excuse me a moment. Close the door so my dog's woofing doesn't get on the uh, channel. Next up we have the Desert Thunder V16. Very uh, interesting tampo designs on this one. Because apparently it's got a dinosaur on it. Whether they're sort of like... Uh, it's got T-Rex transport. Yeah, it's either a case of the scientists really messed up and basically made a T-Rex, but it was teeny tiny. Because a T-Rex would basically probably pick that up and chuck it over like a five-year-old having a tantrum. Oh, I'm not referencing to the little kids today, I don't know why. Anyway, 66 Dodge A100 pickup truck. I already found one of these on a 2013 card, so I thought, oh, why not have a 2014 version as well. Nice to see this one carried over. Spoiled this one again in Poundland, but because I already had that one and already had the other one. No real particular need for it. Oh, one for Stephen Lum, he'll probably want this one. The Porsche 911 GT3. I was debating whether to buy another one, just in case anybody needed it, but I thought, nah, I'll probably get it. Ooh, a lot of glare there. Again, absolutely lovely orange. Who am I seeing this one again? Perhaps maybe in a blue, a green, a red, maybe. Be very nice. Next up we have the TVR Tuscan S, another British-based car, TVR. It's more easy to show the card art on my camera, again. Very nice, beautiful, stealthy black. Had to have this one purely because it was nice looking. I'm a very strange person, my car tastes suddenly go from sort of, I want it to, I'll have that just because it's nice. Final one, we have the International Scout 4x4. This one I just like because it was purple and it also sort of looks like a Jeep. Big bulky tyres, very cool looking model, oh, very nice indeed. That's the last of the carded artwork. <clears throat> we now move on to the uh, loose ones that I've found recently, mostly in Cambridge uh, Newmarket mixture. First up we start off with the little sand stinger, or little quad dirt bike thingy. I think this is from a five pack I seem to remember. Not much tampo design on it. It's quite an old one, this, because it goes right back to 1986. Nice little model, anyway. Next up, we have the Matchbox uh, Ground Breaker. This is a very nice classic construction vehicle. And yes, it does have a working part. That moves up to so lift it up a little bit. And if you want to sort of make a YouTube video where it tips where it tips itself up, it can also go back to there. But again, other than that, it goes down as well, but I don't think it's meant to. But still a nice little model to have. Cool little find. Next we have the tractor plough. This might be from a five pack or a multi pack. Because Remember these ice frosty wheels? Models still around, I have seen it in 2013 in Poundland, blue variation. It's all a metal scoop that, I thought that would have been plastic, but no, it's been made into metal. Base is metal, little cab part is metal, the only plastic bit is a little plastic insert, is that little grey bit, that's cool. Also from that set is this very nice uh, dump truck. It's got the same wheels as the other one. It's also in green. Another one that probably race screws a man will probably want. Or has already got. Again, very basic green tampo. The only thing on the side is something it says rental rentals car. That's what it says on the side. Rentals car. No idea what that means really, but still nice anyway. Uh, 
Next up we have the Hyundai Tiber, uh, Turban with the Duracell logo on. This uh, probably isn't very collectible at the moment, but probably give it a couple of years because it said promotional piece. Now, South Texas Diecast usually only uh, put stuff on sort of like money wise pre 2007. So anything that's post 2007 has got a price tag on it because you can probably still pick it up. This one though is a promotional piece for Duracell. It might be um, collectible in years to come. It just depends. Still, nice little piece to have. Next up we have High Voltage. Very cool track car this. Do my eyes deceive me or is that a Circle Flame logo there? Yes, it's a treasure hunt. Oh no, wait. Ah. No, not a treasure hunt, just a basic regular uh, 2007 car. How's that for 2007? Once again, no logo or name on the little plastic insert bit there that joins all the plastic, all the chrome together. An interesting find was this uh, Matchbox 1939 Chevy van. Might be from a Halloween pack because it's got a Frankenstein monster with the words Ugh. This is pretty much how I feel at the moment. Like a Frankenstein monster. Oh, but I'm struggling on. Unknown car from uh, McDonald's. No idea on the name. And because South Texas Diecast doesn't have um, a Matchbox, uh, Matchbox, McDonald's section yet. No idea on the name of this model. If you could help, comment below. Probably one of the only more popular models from 2004, the 49 Merc Cruise one, or the Grewery one. This has got a uh, shapeshifter on it. This is a pretty creepy vehicle. Awesome creepy tampos on the side. I think it's really the top that gets hit. That is just incredibly creepy. Very cool um, colour though, nice brown. Again, a lot of 2004 cars didn't make it onto. I think that one might have also been from a five pack. I don't know. I love my Majoretti toys. And of course, I happen to find this one Majoretti. Sadly, missing the tow hook. But still a nice overall little tow vehicle. Still got the glass on the top here. Nice little uh, front end. It's probably either a Jeep or a uh, Pioneer. I'm not 100% on this. Still very nice to have though. Very cool little model. Another Corgi Porsche Carrera. This is an earlier version because this has the uh, just pure black finish. The later version had uh, Porsche written on the side of it and I think also had the uh, logo on the hood. But other than that though, this is the replacement, or this is the uh, casting that Hot Wheels took on for quite some time before final running it. Which was a shame, but that sort of thing happens. Now the next one is probably a bit of a complaint to Matchbox and I can probably see why a lot of parents did get this model discontinued or at least stopped. It's the classic 63 Cadillac hearse. I love me my hearses and this Cadillac is gorgeous but with Scooby Doo on it. Mm, that's a little contradicting that. Sorry if you hear that, that's my dog woofing, stupid thing. But again, it hasn't got much on it, it's just got uh, Velma and Fred on it. And Shaggy and uh, Daphne on the other side, and with Scooby's logo on the side there. Possibly from a five pack. And there you can see Shaggy and Daphne on the other side. Don't worry, Fred. So, again, an interesting model because uh, it's a hearse 
and it had Scooby Doo. Hmm. Uh, car up for trades or possibly just swap. It's the Jet Threat 4.0, 2007 model, I think. But as you can see, it's missing something on the top. It's missing this little plasticky bit which pops off. So again, that'll be up for trade. So if you need a metal base for something, you need these gold wheels or plastic body parts. I don't care. Cool one. First edition. 2004 Toon series. Very cool looking. This is probably the only model that has survived 10 years on. As it's still in production to this year. So this is probably the only car that has survived a full production of 10 years from 2004. And like I say, that's probably the oldest 2004 model that is there. It's basically a more blingier version of the uh, ice cream truck, which I find pretty cool. Utility truck, 2006. This has got Activision fuel on it. Very basic dark miniature green on it. Cool model anyway. Chromy silver back. Nice anyway. Another Corgi. We have a Corgi Mercedes Benz 420D with Team Car. Yeah. Team Car. That's as basic as sort of like an Action 52 game. Team Car. Go. Yeah. Except for at least with Action 52, these are more popular. Still got the roof rack intact, which just has um, a spare wheels, fuel tanks, and what looks like a toolbox. Basic uh, checkered flag tampon on the side. Very red body. Nice Mercedes though. Next up we have a Corgi Junior Whiz Wheels. This will be good for, um, oh I think his name's Jeff now or he used to be Diecast Daddy or somebody. I can't remember his name but um, he's into VW Bugs. Well this will be an impressive one for him. So a nice Corgi Junior's Whiz Wheels because it says that underneath. There it is, Corgi Whiz Wheels. Oop, glare, glare. Cute. Very cool indeed. Made in it's the Volkswagen 1300. Nice, made in made in Britain. Very basic tampos. Next up, we have another Corgi Juniors, the Tankard. This is uh, quite an old model. This one. Very nice old SO. SO are a long since gone fuel company. I think they, like uh, Texaco, have pretty much died out. Again, most Texaco stations have either been run out of business or are literally in the middle of nowhere on a roundabout somewhere. I think there's one still going somewhere near my way, near my nan area. But SO were another company that basically did fuel back in the 1950s, 60s, 70s, 80s and 90s and just basically lost out because they were one of these companies that only wanted to do fuel whereas Tesco, Shell and BP will do sort of like a little proper cafe, restaurant, fuel, servicing and all that Esso just did fuel so shame they died out still a nice little collector's model slightly bigger but a proper corgi sized toy is Corgi Toys Whiz Wheels a GP Beach Buggy? This is a, a nice collectible. I still got to do some research on these, but I thought I might as well chuck them all into one video. This is apparently called the Firebug. So it has Firebug on the side. It has a nice little uh, tampo on the top there as well. The only thing that is missing, you notice it has a blue light on this side, but not on that side, which is a bummer. Comparing it to the Corgi Juniors one. Well, that's the difference. So you got one sixteenth scale and probably one twenty-fourth scale. But again, still very nice. 
And finally, because I've mentioned him so much, I thought I'd end with a tribute to Mr. Race Cruise. I found these two very nice cars of his, probably which he's got about 10, 13, 15. It's the uh, Chevy Avalanche, and this is from Matchbox 2001. So here is the green Chevy Avalanche. Very nice basic tampos. Originally I thought the uh, back here clipped up a bit. It looks like it's got sort of like a little uh, pop bit that you could lift off, but it doesn't. It's got Matchbox Avalanche on the side of it in a uh, little basic silver lettering there. It's a very nice car. And to top it off, we might as well have another one with the uh, Chevy Avalanche Croc Zoo Cleanup Crew. And if you're going to be tackling uh, or cleaning up crocodiles, this is probably the best car to go with. That or a tank, because I think crocodiles can't eat tanks. But yeah, very nice colour indeed. Sort of an army green. Very nice indeed. Same build as the other one. But anyway, just a nice little tribute, because I know Race Grooves likes his Chevy Avalanches. It's probably got like about eight or nine of these, boxed, unboxed, open, painted with race grooves on the side. I don't care. Still, a nice little find on those two. And that is pretty much it. Hopefully, uh, April and May will be a lot better. I should be a lot better by then, but I don't know. Ugh. Anyway, thanks for uh, watching. And uh, now... Oh, I've got a photograph of all this lot for DA. See ya.